<clears throat> Good day. Today on the homesteading, I'm going to show you about uh, growing plants inside a little bit in the winter. See, in Canada here, it's the winter. Like, it is all snowy outside. It's February. But uh, in here, I just got these LED lights. Uh, you can't see them with the camera that they're all separated little tiny lights. Like, maybe you can. Like, there's there's a whole bunch of little separated ones. Anyways, the point is, is uh, I used to have one of those um, fluorescent lights, but uh, it was way more hydro. It was using more hydro. It was using 120 watts, and this is using 40. So, I have two of them, because I'm trying to grow these plants here. And uh, so yeah, that's the point here is, is that it's uh, 4,500 lumens. It doesn't really tell you, oh, it says 500K color spectrum. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know if that's suggesting that it's for growing or not, but the plants are growing. Like, if you look at this plant right here, this is a fig, or a ficus, and uh, see these new leaves? These all grew because, like, basically since I put it right next to the light. And, I mean, you got to keep it close to the light. But, uh, yeah, if, like, see, those are all growing right now. Like, these are the old leaves that didn't hasn't grown much in a while. So yeah, the they do grow the plants. I don't know what they're like for... like this is a a lime tree so I'm not sure how, you know how it has to do with flowering and things but it, this lime tree is flowering and uh, it has some limes on it. Um, so I don't know. It, it, it grows the plants. I, I You know what I mean? I, I can't give you the, the numbers like if you're a real professional grower and stuff, this this isn't for you. But this is just like, I, I bought them at TSC. Maybe you don't have TSC where you're from, but like the hardware store kind of place. And they're 55 bucks, and it came with the fixtures and everything. So if you think about that, that's kind of where you're saving the money because if you had to buy LED bulbs and then different fixtures and stuff, it'd be a little more expensive, I think. But anyway, so yeah, that's what I do. Oh, here's the second one. Let me turn it on. There. And that's a banana tree in there. And then this is a hibiscus. And this is uh, some sort of orange that we got. So, yeah. Um, don't be afraid to grow stuff inside. Like, these, this is cheap hydro. Like, if I have both on, that's 80 watts. That's less than, like... <laughs> Then, well, it was less than my original, uh, what do you call them? The tube lights, and they were, uh, yeah, they were using more hydro. Anyways, uh, so I just put the tube lights out in the shed where I'd, like, never use them. So, yeah, because these are on all the time. Um, and in Canada here, well, in Ontario, we have this stupid communist hydro system where the hydro costs more money at the daytime and cheaper at night so I tend to leave the lights on at night and then turn them off during the day because there's already light coming in the window so I don't know you can leave them on 24 hours it depends on what you want to do what kind of plants you're using what kind of cycle you want to do da, 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 da. but yeah um, if, uh, if it was a quick review on these lights they're like I said they're from TSC in Canada yeah, they're good. I, I'd pay 55 bucks for them. I did pay 55 bucks for them twice. So, yeah, they're good. They grow plants even. Thank you. Uh, I guess that's what I'm trying to explain. If you want to watch the channel, watch the channel. Put a like on this video. Get subscribed. Thanks.